Action! Suspiria is a movie about outcasts and the female as the ultimate outcast. She wants to get inside of me. I can feel her. She can see me. I became a massive fan of Dario Argento when I was 10. I already wanted to be a director. I already had a lot of passion for cinema. And when I saw Suspiria at the age of 14, it really became a watershed experience to me. When you dance the dance of another, you make yourself in the image of its creator. It's a movie about a dance company where an American girl goes to attend only to discover that it is run by a coven of witches. Three mothers, three gods, three devil. Mother Tenebrarum, Mother Lacrimarum, and Mother Suspiriorum. The damn blank's incredible. One the way she transmits her work. You have to decide. What is it you want to be for this company? There's more in that building than what you can see, Doctor. You are living with dangerous people. We are making a movie about a precise period of time, which is 1977, in a place, Berlin, that was a divided place. It is an all-female cast, and that's been really empowering to, to be a part of. They use the energy of the young women to kind of survive and go on. These witches are not hocus-pocus. These witches are pretty realistic. I feel like I'm not even here yet. <laughs> Every actor is right for the role in this movie, Takota, Tilda, Mia, Chloe, because they all are bold personalities with great intelligence. So for me, it's about the dance that comes off of the relationship between me and them, the camera and them, the environment and them. Darkness, tears, <laughs> and sighs. <laughs> We are respectfully bowing to the original movie by Dario, but completely going into a different direction. In the Dario Argento world, it's colored and flowery. In this movie, it's very severely sharp and blocky and stern and quite alarming. One, two, three. It's so beautiful and so haunting and disturbing and terrifying and heartbreaking. It's been the craziest experience of my life thus far, work-wise. Action! I hope people will leave the theater shaken, but in a strange way, like when you wake up from a nightmare, wanting more of that nightmare. You're making some kind of deal with them. The great delight of wanting to have more and more fear. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about.